there's a couple different reasons why an LGBTQ person might find themselves in an individual faith community or an individual church um, that they are not welcomed in. One is that they may have grown up in that church, right? It's the church that, of their family and of their parents, of their neighborhood or of their community. And so they grew up in that community. Their friends and their family members are part of that church. And they were a member of that church even before they began to grapple with their own gender identity or sexual orientation. Um, and it was in growing up and hearing those messages that maybe they've internalized some of the messages that they unfortunately heard of self-rejection and of, uh, of, of discrimination and in some cases of, of hate. Um, and so in many cases, it's folks growing up in those faith communities. Um, it's folks who even in adulthood maybe haven't grappled with or, or accepted their gender identity or sexual orientation, joining those faith communities um, and, and, and trying to find um, a, a reason not to accept their, their gender identity or sexual orientation, knowing that they'd face discrimination or even potentially violence in the broader world. So there's a number of reasons why LGBTQ people, uh, particularly those who are in the closet still or who are struggling with their gender identity or sexual orientation, might find themselves in faith communities that aren't supportive or accepting. But again, more and more we are seeing LGBTQ people People not only brought up in faith communities that are inclusive and loving and affirming, but also once they come out, are seeking out and finding those churches, those synagogues, those mosques, synagogues, those mosques that say that all are welcome. And I think that that trend reflects the, the broader trend within this country toward a more loving, accepting, and inclusive world, despite what's happening in some churches or even what's happening in places like the White House.